morning. This is Friday, March the 1st, 2024. Month of March is here. It was always my favorite month in Ohio because we get those great big snowflakes and then it would melt. <laughs> and the uh, key olive right there is still blooming. It's just covered with blossoms. So I don't know what we're going to be doing this month. We'll just have to wait and see what kind of projects we come up with and maybe we'll just take it easy for a change. Larry's new shower curtain came. It has a liner behind it that came a week or so ago. And he has kind of a lighthouse theme going on here in his bathroom. So I got him a lighthouse shower curtain. I think it goes pretty good. And then he's got like a little lighthouse and a and another little, two little lighthouses up there. One's got a building with it. And that clock has a lighthouse in it. And then down here he's got lighthouses ab above the sink. All the way around. And up above the window he has another lighthouse. So he certainly has a theme going on. I hope he likes the uh, shower curtain. Being double might be taking a little bit to get used to it, but I like it. We came over here to Steffi. She had two pallets for us, and now they're giving us firewood. Yeah, we don't have the pallets to stack the firewood on. There they are, two pallets and wood. I do it all the time. This is Sunday morning and we're on our way to church. I think it's going to maybe get up to 70 today, but it's supposed to be cloudy. It's 63 right now. The Confederate jasmine's blooming in all the trees. Well, we got an excuse if we're late to Sunday school or the deacon's meeting. George has been catching ground moles. You got another one now. They sure do make a lot of holes and and tunnels in the yard. There goes Barbara. She came over and played canasta. I think it's the first time since October. And Larry won. There's our camellia bush. It's all covered with blossoms. And then there's a lot on the ground where they've dropped off already. Here it is, close up. Oh, there's a pretty one back there. Nice big one. And there's the sawtooth oak. I just noticed this morning how many leaves have come out on it. They're just all over. I'll zoom in on it. Look how the leaves have come out. Sure sign of spring. Larry and I are having two salads for lunch. There's one with lettuce, cottage cheese, pineapple and cheese. And then I made carrot, raisin, apple, nut salad. Too. We stacked the firewood that Steffi and Justin gave us. And that second row there is mostly came from them. And a little bit up on top of the other. And the two pallets they gave us, we got them put down here. The blue ones. And so we've got a nice place now to stack firewood again. These four right here Larry's going to cut because they're too long. It's a lot better than it was a couple of weeks ago. Here in the greenhouse, Larry's carrots are looking good. That's partly what we made the carrot salad out of for lunch. There's peas. Larry's got them. I just ate one in raw and it was good. He had a head of cabbage ready. And the pineapple is just looking great. No pineapple yet, but it looks pretty. His beets look healthy too. A little bit of leaf lettuce there. 
Uh, tomato plants have come up and growing nice. There are uh, Rutgers and Big Boys. Miss some more of his cabbage outside. And his pepper plant has peppers on it. And here's more cabbage. The broccoli looks pretty. It's blooming and going to seed. This is Tuesday, and it's such a pretty day, I've been started washing windows on the outside. I got these four all clean this morning. I was waiting for the sun to go over so I could get the ones in the front. We moved some of the geraniums from the greenhouse here to the front steps. These that are old. And then they're pretty flowers. And the begonia up there. This is Wednesday the 6th of March and it's raining. We've got water standing in the flower bed and all over the yard. He's down there in the flower bed. There's puddles all around. Most of this was just since I got since about 7.30. The backyard's full of water too. All this yellow here on the pool cover is pollen. It's all around the edges, in the middle. It's pollen mostly from the pine trees. So it is pollen season again. We came back to Steffi. She called and said she had this wood ready for us. She had split it. So all that and then right here on the tractor Another load. We got it all in the truck. Whole load. We were just talking, maybe we need to buy a trailer and uh, use gas heat. We're on our way to Reba's house for supper. Um, Cheryl and Arabella and Jerry are coming down. And Jerry's home from the Navy on leave for five days. So we want to see him, but first we have to get down this road, <laughs> and it's, it rained a lot this morning. We had a lot of rain, so there's lots of puddles. This isn't a county road, so there's no upkeep hardly done on it. One lane. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's one lane. We're almost there, though, I think. <coughs> Lots of holes. I don't, it rained all night, I think, and I got up this morning, the yard was full of water again. There, there's the place there. Well, here is Rivers' living room. Waiting, we're going to have spaghetti for supper. He's got bread and salad and a noise. <laughs> there's Arabella and Cheryl. There's Jerry. And Michael is getting ready to. The refrigerator is making a noise, so he's going to do something about it. Mine's mostly tan. That noise is driving everybody crazy. In the worst case, we have a skinnier one than both of us. And it's a new refrigerator. It's a year old. It's Sunday morning, and we're trying not to be late to church. time changed last night and we didn't sleep too well. So we were moving a little slower this morning. 515 says this, be careful then how you live, not as unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish but understand what the Lord's will is. 
Your call is not to do good things and not to do bad things. It's to do the one thing that you've been called to. This is Monday the 11th, and I'm up here to go into my periodontist appointment, my once a year appointment. I stopped here at Home Depot to get some floor cleaner that Walmart doesn't carry. And they've got so many flowers, I could just go crazy in here. But I didn't get anything. Sure are pretty. This is uh, Tuesday and we're getting ready to go for North Carolina. It's just about 7.25 in the morning. It's daylight. You can hear the neighbor's rooster. We're out of Columbia going towards Spartanburg and they're adding more lanes to the road. And uh, over to the right it looks really nice like it's all done. But it's kind of rough here where we, where we are right now. I hope they're able to open some of that soon. The road just feels narrow. There's pear trees, a whole field almost. The pear trees at home are about gone, but these are full bloom. Well, it's 1217 and we just reached the mountains. There's icicles on the rocks. Stopped to see our summer garden plot. It looks like they put mulch in it. Nothing growing yet. All of them are bare. This grows a lot of good vegetables in here. I think they've added some more. It goes all the way down to the sign now. We're here at our room in the inn, a shady lawn. Just relaxing on our king size bed. And uh, now we're going to bed because it's 9 15 and we're tired. Right there's room 12 where we spent the night. Down there's the office. It's still winter here. The leaves are still off the trees, except for the rhododendron. And Grandfather Mountains right there waiting on the sun. It's supposed to be sunny and nice today. I think up at 60 maybe. We got the truck loaded and started home at 10 o'clock and this is the pretty part of the trip down through here, this valley. The mountains all around. There's more pear trees up there. There's something down here. Looks pretty. Is. It's all bloomed. We're here south of Columbia at the nursery. They got greenhouses down there, shade houses, and they just have everything. There's more greenhouses. They got annuals. Look at all the black cow in the yellow bags. All kinds of pretty tropical plants. Here's all the pretty containers. Wow, all the way down through there. All sizes and colors and shapes. Here's some of the green houses. And all the hanging baskets. More pots. 
Oh, these are all columbine. Lamb's ear. This puts uh, Home Depot to shame. Violas. Indian hawthorn thorn. Trees? Big trees. More trees across the road. This here is Banberg where the uh, tornado went through. There's they took the roof off of buildings. There's that one building right here has a side big hole in it. The building is down there. Lost the roof. That building there fell in. I don't know if you can see it. There's metal everywhere. This building's got the roof gone. This is a building where they used to make barrels. Not making anything now. It's 447, 79 degrees. And we're home. It's Wednesday evening and I'm here to church for the monthly business meeting. Larry was hurting so much from riding all day, so he didn't come, but I'm here. Larry's been wanting a dwarf banana tree for a couple of years, and he found one at the uh, nursery, so he got it. He's going to put it in the greenhouse. These are all the things we brought back from my camper in the mountains. I had to wanted to bring it back because I wanted to keep these things since I'm going to be selling it. And we had the whole back seat full, pack full too, but I under, unloaded it yesterday. This has got the washstand and pretty things. Brought all my favorite books back. Here's my camp stove. We stopped at Ingalls in Spartanburg and got uh, bananas. A whole sack for $1.99. Larry already ate one of them. But I'm going to make banana nut bread. That'll make a year's worth of banana nut bread. I'm making banana nut bread for Lowe's. But my mixing bowl, my biggest mixing bowl, wasn't big enough to hold everything. So I found this plastic container. I'm using it as a mixing bowl. This big container is almost full. I just can't stir it, and I'm starting to put it in the pans. Dipping it in. I got them all ready to go in the oven. I hope they all fit. Well, I can put them on the second shelf if I have to. I'll put the big ones in the back. I thought I filmed my banana nut bread when it came out of the oven, but... I didn't have any clip of it, so this is what we all left out to eat. We got just a little piece and then a half of the one that was in the casserole. And all the rest of it's wrapped up and frozen. There's this sawtooth oak. You can see how the leaves have come out. They're almost, I think they're out full now. And it's only been like a week or so since I filmed them just starting to, to open up. The blueberries have got a lot of blossoms on them too. Bees are busy working them. You can see the bee. There's the azaleas here in the backyard. They're as pretty as they were last year, just blossoms everywhere.
even though Larry trimmed the, the tops off the azaleas, they're still blooming pretty nice here in front of the house. This is my side entrance flower bed that I've been trying to get the weeds out of and cleaned up. I got half of it done before it started raining too much. There's a, these little flowers, I don't know what they are, but they just spread and spread and I've been digging them up from the bulb and getting out the weeds and breaking the, the dead out of the, the mums and got to clean up the fountain and get it going. So, might work on that tomorrow. We still got the fern here by the door where you come in. I think it's pretty. This is my rosemary. It's doing pretty good. Makes plenty, makes plenty for us to eat. I was just starting to weed and it started to rain kind of hard. Just a little shower. So I wanted to show you my flower here and how it's all blooming. Larry knew the name of it. He used to great raise them. It's a calancho. And when we were at the market, we saw a lot of them. Since this is the 15th, I'll say good night. God bless. I hope your march is going well.